Welcome back, Hocaholics. Happy Halloween. Um, we got ourselves our box from Shop Carl's uh, relating to that rod we got in our last fish bolt. Well, not the last fish bolt, but the one prior to that. Um, our September, I think it was, fish bolt gave us that blackout rod by 1-3 Fishing. So I went online and I picked up a reel to go with that. But a really quick, happy, healthy Halloween to all of you out there, and specifically to three or four uh, special mentions. Um, abrupt silence over on Instagram. Uh, of course, J uh, Jesse, or excuse me, James, James Johnson, James Johnson, James Johnson, on, <laughs> in the community tab, and uh, slash gills of the uh, the Juggalo fishing posse. Uh, I just want to shout out to all of you. Uh, I was running to figure out what to name my boat, and along with some toiling and some talks with the wife and things that related to my life and my history and family stuff, um, we decided to come across the name Penny, Pennywise. So, relating to Halloween, using that, uh, it's a movie that my wife and I saw a while back and she loved it. Uh, I saw the original and I saw the recent ones, um, but uh, yeah, James... And uh, an abrupt silence, and of course, slash, um, you guessed it right, it was Pennywise. Uh, so we've got Pennywise as our name, and this little guy here, he's going to be my go to 24 7, 365 co angler. Uh, he'll be on the boat at all times. So uh, the wife got me this. So, uh, you know, thank you all for participating, for your guesses. Um, you know, it was pretty easy. It, it goes back in history. When I was young, one of the things my grandmother, it was just a saying she used to say is, never be penny wise and dollar dumb. Basically, sometimes it's worth spending more money on something to get higher quality rather than, than buy cheap things and in the long run have to keep replacing those cheap items to make up for what you could have just had one quality item in the first place. So there's times to spend a dollar and there's times to pinch your pennies and you just have to be wise enough to know, penny wise, enough to know when to do either. So uh, with that said, we got the name for our, uh, for our boat and I just wanted to show that I got in the mail a 1-3 Fishings Kalen's 2.0 Blackout. So, real quick, the, uh, I already rigged it up here, but, uh, so we got in our, in our mail order, um, fish bolt, we got this Blackout, it's a medium light, I think, uh, medium, medium power, fast action, uh, spinning rod, and it has this really unique Mother of Pearl style-esque black paint scheme, and I looked around, I'm like, what other, what other reels would go well with that gray silver ghost kind of color and i was like you know what screw it and i went on shop carl's they had a great discount it was like 70 65 bucks uh because i'm a shop carl's member uh, around 70 80 dollars for non-members but it's the actual reel to go with the rod so it's a blackout reel to the blackout rod and it matches obviously perfectly so uh, loaded it up with some uh, some 10 pound, or excuse me, 15 pound braid and 10 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, the rod is rated for up to a 5 8 ounce lure, so I'm probably going to use this on my lighter jigs. Uh, maybe not so much drop shot. I have a different rod that I use for specifically for drop shotting. Um, but it's a 7 1 rod and it runs 6 to 12 pound. Um, but I know I have a higher pound test braid, but basically I'm using the mod, the, um, the mono, or in this case, the fluorocarbon leaders as my actual breaking strength anyway. So I'm hopefully not going to exceed that with this 10 pound. Obviously, it's within the realm. The reel is a, uh, it's the 2.0. It's a five, I believe five, two to one ratio. It's not very super fast. It is pretty smooth from what I've tried uh, so far. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting this on the boat and getting it out in the drink. 
So uh, I just wanted to wish all of you a happy, healthy Halloween, uh, reveal the name, a little bit of the boat, uh, explain a little bit why, and uh, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for, uh, for all of you out there who subscribe, um, and stay tuned to all these little drops and little videos. So from me to you, peace, be safe, have a healthy and happy Halloween, and uh, above all, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Alcoholics. Thank you.